Hello YouTube. I hope everybody is doing fine. I'm okay. Also, uh, in my quest to make my products better and smaller somehow, I want to show you my new GPS tracker, which is this little guy here. It consists out of two PCBs that I soldered back to back and let me show you actually the PCBs itself this is the Atmega 328 PCB that I love to use okay I can read it now and okay, second I cannot read it because I don't have my glasses on ah, here we go so this is my Pico GPS PCB it is slightly bigger than my Pico 328 PCB that I have somewhere here. Here I have it. This one was actually 18 by 18 millimeters. This is the clock I showed you before. Maybe you have seen it. Analog clock, of course, you can put any other Arduino code on here. It is basically Arduino Uno in a Pico size. So that was 18 by 18. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is 20 by 20 millimeters, and I got dictated to this size because of the. Oh, why don't I have it here? Um, of the micro SD card. So this is the 328, as I said. It has a. Uh, few pinouts i2 square for the OLED display if you need one and uh, uh, MOSI, MISO, SDA and SCK and clock outputs on the bottom these pins are for programming and it has a reverse protection diode it has a 3.3 volt uh, LDO voltage regulator and it has a LED on D13 and uh, yeah that was it so this is the Pico GPS PCB and this is the Pico micro SD PCB and the Pico this is the micro SD side and this is the GPS side and so I can use this as only a I have it right here I think yes I'm sorry about this short delay okay this is it <clears throat> when the micro SD cards slot is on here a uh, holder and uh, I can use it like this with this PCB as only a micro SD card logger for example I'm also able to use this with my regular sized uh, OLED E Uno PCB and if I would want to use it as a tracker, I put the GPS module on here, like I did here. And here you can see the micro SD card. It is a push push. Goes in by pushing, comes out by pushing. And so this is my smallest tracker yet. And uh, I wanted to put it in a enclosure, a 3D printed one, preferably. So I designed this and this goes in here like that. Actually I designed it for the other one but anyhow it does go in here and uh, here's the start for the micro, uh, the opening for the micro SD card and uh, then I wanted something so I can have it with a battery and I designed this here the pocket clip I did not design I found that on Thingiverse this is the original size I made it smallest about I think 60% so I made it smaller like I said and I did this case and in here you have a battery holder for the CR122 123 batteries and the uh, 
18350 batteries which are all standard batteries uh, as I found out these batteries pretty much got stuck with 700 800 milliamps don't fall for 2200 milliamps or whatever those are all false advertisement but I think uh, these ones got uh, got up this also 1800 is not true these go up to 1100 milliamps uh, with the 700 milliamps you get almost 24 hours of recording and uh, this is actually less because it's not 1800 and it's even less than 700 so the case fits both the, whichever you want to use you can and uh, you can clip it on your belt or wherever you want to the antenna is on the top and let me open it up this is again friction fit I kinda like if you print it like this going like that you have the you can hear it the layers and you have the same layers here and they give it a friction fit when you close it and it's it's not gonna come out and I didn't want to put a slot in here so I wanted to have it uh, waterproof or water resistant and as you can see this is the power LED for the GPS this is the PPS signal pulls per second and down here you can see very faintly the blue LED that means that it's recording onto the micro SD card right now and let me get it out for you I did this here so it doesn't rattle so this is one of the CR123 batteries and I made it I made this one pluggable like that and uh, this is practically it so you just push it in here with this little sleeve it's hard to do it around the camera goes like this and it's all pretty much friction fit and this is it uh, I will have these shortly I have ordered more of these GPS modules and I have plenty of PCBs but I'm waiting on the GPS modules and once they are here I will put them up on Tindy this one is sold to the United States and uh, this one is for me <laughs> so this was practically it it's my GPS tracker and you can record in uh, G I forgot one is uh, C V S format or G P X X format and you can use them both with Google Earth or the CVS format you can use with a spreadsheet spreadsheet and get your data whatever you want out there so this is it and these are the two PCBs where did I take this one out out of here I think yes so this was it, I don't want to bore you anymore and I want to go to bed also, it's almost 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm getting later and later, soon I'm gonna jump and go to bed really early. So this was it, if you're interested you can check it out in my Tindy store, as soon as, as I have them I will put them up there. And oh, I want to say, uh, I don't know how strong this guy will be. So I will eventually get metal ones, metal clips and I was checking them out on the internet lately and uh, they go like for 5 bucks and 5 bucks for shipping. So $10 just for this metal piece here which I think is pretty pretty expensive. So I will go out for the hunt for cheap china knives. This is actually also a cheap china knife, a uh, pocket knife and we'll eventually buy a lot of pocket knives and take the clips off if I decide to make them out of metal so I'm not sure yet about that 
I will test this and see how long or how good it will hold up. Actually, I also want to make a case which has a a hole for to put it on your keychain, for example. That I want to make also, and uh, here you can see the cases I designed before this, and different length, different heights, and I also wanted to do it like this. But then I figured, since I cannot glue this down, you have to take the battery out to charge it. And I didn't trust this to hold this thing in there, so and then I decided to make it as a pyramid. It's a pyramid, or as a standing box. Uh, this was 50% uh, of this. Uh, I found this on Thingiverse. If you're interested, let me know, i give you the link. And... Uh, Maybe I design a different version myself, I don't know yet. But for now this is it. And these are the cases I try before I get it right. This time actually I didn't waste too much material. And I can always use this for something else. Oh, okay. And this is the battery holders that I use. And uh, <laughs> on this one I want to show you something. I can get the camera see how those pins are molten molted or oh, not molted melted melted oh my god what am I talking what I did was put the battery in here and uh, normally the pins stick out and put this on here on the metal ruler while trying to measure it and then I started smelling some molten plastic and I could not find out from where it came until I figured this one out and uh, <laughs> took it off. But the battery survived. So apparently these are good batteries. It's hard to find them on eBay because there are so many fake ones out there. So I might look up the seller of this one from whom I bought it from and buy it from him again. And hope that the quality is the same. Anyhow, so this is how those things got molten in here. And I just had to scrape off a little, uh, conden not condensation, whatever it was, plastic or whatever. So, even I do make mistakes. Anyhow, I hope you are made it this far. And... Um, this is my new tracker. I will put these on Tindy, also uh, not on Tindy, on Thingiverse. So maybe somebody can use them as for something else. And uh, like this is the longer version. You could use this for here. Whatever you like. So. This was it. Uh, thanks for watching and take care everybody.